What's going on everybody, welcome to Quick Brick Games where we cover everything LEGO gaming and welcome back to a brand new video about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga which of course is the big new LEGO game coming out here in spring 2021 on the current gen consoles and the next gen consoles and over the past week we actually got a little bit of more information about the game so that's why I'm making this video. Uh, it's actually kind of mostly minor information but it's kind of exciting at the same time so uh, this comes from a reddit user named Pizza Spider Time so a link to this post will be in the description so you can check it out yourself. And he says he found this image on the PlayStation Store, so this is actually an ad from the PlayStation 4 Store advertising the Skywalker Saga game coming out next year. And uh, on the image on the right here, it says Build Play Game, and on the right side you can see an actual gameplay image from the Skywalker Saga. The ones on the left are just real life Lego sets advertising those, but the right is actually an image from the game. And you can actually see the boss battle with Darth Vader. It looks to be maybe from like Episode 5, but it's kind of weird because... Luke is in his pilot uniform, and this definitely seems to be an early, like, unfinished build of the game, uh, because you can see the Darth Vader health bar at the top, so if you didn't know, uh, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is removing the hearts, so in all the LEGO games, pretty much up to this point, uh, your character and then the other enemy characters usually have little hearts. I know in the more recent games, they started giving the enemies health bars, but here, everything seems to be going to health bars rather than hearts, which is kind of an interesting change just because they've done hearts for so long now. Uh, but yeah, you can see Darth Vader's health bar at the top. And then uh, what's funny about this, this is an ad on the PlayStation Store, yet the button prompt on the screen says RT, which is obviously an Xbox One button. So <laughs> that's pretty, pretty funny how uh, PlayStation let that slide. Uh, but then at the middle of the image there, you can see it says Kyber Brick, one of 952 collected which is insane so uh, I would say this is confirming 952 kyber bricks but it's really hard to say because uh, this image seems to be an early image because we have uh, Luke Skywalker in his pilot outfit which he never fights in the movies Darth Vader in his pilot outfit so if something seems strange about that maybe it's just an early model they're gonna switch it out for the correct like Bespin model later on who knows and then also there's no lightsabers there I don't think like if you look at their little Lego hands, um, you don't see any lightsaber hilts there and there's just kind of a light. Uh, so yeah, this definitely seems to be an early image of the game and it's just very bizarre how this image even ended up on the PlayStation Store considering it's from the Xbox version. And everything we've actually seen of the game so far seems to be from the Xbox Series X next gen version. Um, that seems to be the case here as well. And like, why is why are they collecting a kyber brick in the middle of a lightsaber duel? That seems kind of weird. Like, it's not even like they're finishing off Darth Vader and getting the kyber brick. Like, they're in the middle of the boss fight and collecting one. So, <laughs> again, it's very strange. But uh, yeah, it's hard to say where this is. I guess it's on Bespin, but it, it's really hard to say. Uh, but that's a very cool image. So we have 952 kyber bricks in the game. Apparently, I guess that number could change based on this being an early build. Uh, but this is uh, pretty exciting information here. All right, but that's not all the information we got. We actually have another Reddit post from a user named SJSJDJD. So he kind of has a crappy username. I'm not going to lie. You need to fix that, buddy. But you did give us some cool information here. So he actually posted this, what looks like a magazine article. And I'm not sure if this comes from the Lego magazine or if this comes from like a Lego set. It looks like a magazine to me. And you can see what you always wanted to know, Starfighter Evolution. And it says the history of Star Wars spans many years. And here it's just kind of showing the starfighters throughout Star Wars history. So we have the Jedi Interceptor. And how this relates to the Skywalker Saga is it says at the bottom left, uh, it says all these pictures are from the video game Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Uh, it says, I can't read it all, but it says in this game you can pilot uh, something, these starships yourself. So yeah, all these images are from the game. And uh, you can see the Jedi Interceptor, it says the Jedi flew these when they were fighting the Galactic Republic against the Separatists in the Clone Wars. They were the first version of the TIE Fighter. If you look closely, you will even see energy panels on the wings, just like those Imperial TIE Fighters. Uh, so very cool, so that's a gameplay shot there. Then on the right, we have Imperial TIE Fighter. This says the searching sound is bad news for the Rebels in times of the Galactic Empire. This was the main fighter of the Empire, so there's a TIE Fighter. And you can see the planets in the background there. That looks like Hoth to me, the big white planet, or possibly Crate, but I think that looks like Hoth. And then uh, on the bottom left, we have the Sith TIE Fighter, the latest version. It's called the TIE Dagger. It's, uh, it was built in the secret by the Dark Forces and first saw the light of day in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So that's an Episode Nine ship that we're going to be able to use in the game. Of course, that's never been seen in a LEGO Star Wars game before. And in the background, it looks like Mustafar there because it's a big red planet. It looks very lava-y. <laughs> lava-y, is that even a word? Um, and then on the right, we have the First Order TIE Fighter. When the Empire was defeated and the First Order rose, fighters were improved again. This upgrade meant that TIEs had even... 
uh, had room for two people in the cockpit. I actually didn't know that, uh, that that was a change with the sequel trilogy First Order TIE Fighters. And there you can see a couple of screenshots of those. The one on the top looks to be in a hangar of some sort, possibly one of the hub worlds. And the one on the bottom looks to be on some sort of planet. Uh, it's hard to say what planet that is. But um, yeah, very interesting. There's just a few screenshots that obviously isn't as cool as the first screenshot where we saw like the, the Darth Vader boss. But uh, very cool nonetheless. So a link to this stuff will be in the description. These are both Reddit posts. And I guess this one comes from a magazine. It's kind of unclear. Uh, but yeah, very cool. So we don't have actual full-fledged gameplay yet. You know, we had the gameplay trailer, which sort of had some gameplay in it, but we haven't seen, like, you know, completely unscripted, you know, unedited uh, footage yet. So hopefully we'll get that soon. Again, I've said this in past videos. I'm expecting an official gameplay trailer or some sort of more news uh, officially from WB Games here before the end of the year, but it seems like until then we're just going to keep getting some kind of random advertisements for the game. And I think these are really popping up because this game, as we know, uh, thanks to a leak back in May, this game was originally supposed to come out on October 20th, which was last week. Um, so I think they're kind of pushing out these ads because originally the game was supposed to be out by now, so they're just kind of doing some advertising here. This advertising was left in the magazines and things like that, and maybe on the PlayStation Store as well. Uh, so yeah, that's very interesting how this stuff is coming out now when the game was originally supposed to come out But of course now it's coming out in spring 2021 uh, But anyway, I guess that's gonna do it for this video So like this video if you enjoyed it if you got some new info out of this video Subscribe if you want to be notified right when the newest videos come out We're always covering Lego Star Wars and Skywalker Saga on this channel as well as ever the other Lego games Like we're not just limited to Star Wars stuff. We do other stuff on the channel as well It's just kind of the focus is on Lego Star Wars with the new game coming out next year uh, so subscribe for that, comment what you think of all this information, and I will see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.